Good evening and welcome to our post-game women's volleyball press conference. We will start the press conference with an opening statement from head coach Natalie Regan. Then we'll open it up to questions for coach along with players Maddie Maxwell, Maura Hayes, and Abby Carrick. Thank you, Lindy. Um, first and foremost, want to thank UC San Diego. Uh, they're a great team, and we're excited to play them uh, in the Big West Tournament and see them later. Uh, with that being said, really proud of our team today. We came out, and we've been using the saying all 24, and having our deep roster and our um, big squad helps a ton when we're at home. To be able to play together and have all, that many eyes and support is really important to us. Uh, it also is great to see Beach Nation coming out and supporting us on a Tuesday, so we're really thankful for that. Uh, we talk about you know, being gritty and resilient, and it felt like this win was that. Ha coming out in the third set and watching a great team respond to being down 0-2 uh, was tough, and we were fighting off some really tough serves, but to watch them hang in there and tread water while we were able to come back on top. Uh, Coach, let's start with the defense, obviously. Uh, 18 block assists, 10 team blocks, held them to 112. Is that something you saw coming into the game that you could take advantage of? or I mean, because the first set was so tight, did you think that eventually the defense will win out? Yes. Uh, our defense, it's very much ride or die by our defense. Um, our blocking is incredible, and this is actually a slow night for our block. Um, I thought our defense was actually one of the weakest parts of our game tonight. And uh, it's a place where we talk a lot about we have a lot more meat on the bone. There were a lot more digs that we left on the court. Um, and then blocking-wise, there were just some plays where we're normally putting our hands in a better spot to not get tooled. Um, so I think that number is low for us. But with that being said, uh, it's great to keep any team at 112. So we're really thankful for that. Uh, Mar, you were able to combine with uh, Zayna Meyer in the 6-2 mm -hmm. today. Um, how was the experience this time around uh, for you guys? And, and how were you able to kind of really lead the team offensively uh, with the high hitting percentage? Yeah, I think it's so fun to be able to, well, I'm not on the court with Zayna, but just like to be able to go on and off with her and like really feel her energy and like be able to keep that on the court as I go back in is just really fun. I don't know. <laughs> um, follow up on that. That's three straight matches where you're not doing that, right? Because she was injured. So it's different. Mm -hmm. How is it different in you mentally when you're on the floor like that? Where you know I don't get to build a rhythm, get a lather. I have to, like, remove myself and get back. Yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes that could be hard. But I think in our situation, like, even when Maddie was setting two, like, all three of us are just so steady and so just confident that I think there's not a big, like, difference in, like, energy level or anything with whoever's on the court. Uh, Abby and Maddie, lots of hard, hit, uh, hard hits, uh, lots of times where they needed you to hit hard and, and you were able to deliver. Um, what was it that you were seeing maybe from this uh, UC San Diego block that you were able to kind of take advantage of? I can go first. Um, I think our middles did a really, really awesome job of being up and holding their middle blocker. I saw that I had a late middle um, quite a few times in this game, and I think it opened up me and Maddie's cross court quite, uh, quite a bit. Um, we work on creating all the time, so when we do see that hole, it's like, oh my gosh, like this is awesome. We get to just like swing. But I think that we train in our gym to look for hands, elbows, um, you know, use our left hand um, and get super creative when we aren't in that great situation. Um, so I saw a couple opportunities to go there tonight too, but it was definitely really nice having uh, Mo and Zayna setting us that tempo and our middles holding their middle, so we had some open court tonight. Yeah, I don't have much to add to that. I think our middles sold it really well and our setters are so consistent to get us the same ball every time. And with creating, we talk, we call it mailbox, where you kind of just throw it right in between the late middle blocker and the um, whoever's on the outside blocker. and it pretty much kills almost every time, and that's thanks to our coaches because they taught us that. It's hard to defend. <laughs> um, this is for Coach and Maddie. Uh, it's 19-18 in the first set. You call timeout. You come out, and I believe well, three of the next four or four of the next five is Maddie. 
go through a block, you go cross court, you go down the line. It was the full repertoire. Was that in the game plan? Did you tell her that? Was that just the rotation? Walk me through that little stretch. I don't think we told her anything. Um, if I vaguely remember, there was a lot of smiles coming out of that timeout. I think I was uh, caught up with some statistics, and so our incredible associate head coach, Bjarna Hughes, was in that timeout, and I just saw a lot of smiles coming out of the timeout, so I was really thankful for that. Um, but I will say... She has done an incredible job as a true freshman in a new position. She's been playing this position for eight months now um, to just really soak in all of the training and be able to execute it in these big moments. So we're really proud. Did, did you see something or? No, I just, a lot of the time to build some type of confidence in myself, I'll look at, it's usually when I look at Mo, I'll be like, set me this ball. And she's like, okay, I got you. And like, there was a play in the four set too that even like um, I had gotten blocked on the first ball or we, or they just dug it and we played blocking D and then I was like, set me again and then ended up scoring and it was like, um, I try and find that confidence in my setters to say like, hey, like I got you so that they know I'm gonna be like going out swinging. But. Um, hard to avoid the adjustment that you made for set four, um, starting with Moore Hayes uh, as the server and being the first setter. Um, what was the thinking behind that? And, and for you, Mo, uh, what was it like to be out there first and, and maybe get the rhythm first? Yeah, we, um we really trust our players in a lot of different situations. And I think a big part of that is living what we preach, being able to trust our training. Um, we do a great job of mixing in a lot of different things into training and it's very intentional where we have people and when we have them there. So it felt very comfortable for us to be able to move into that. Um, we felt like we needed some more middle offense, which is a strength of Zena's in those rotations. And we were very comfortable with Nat, with uh, Mo setting Nat in those first three rotations. So it was less of a change for us, more than being able to flip some of our offensive um, matchups and score some more points in different rotations. I don't know if you missed any of that. <laughs> no, <but. laughs> um, last one for me. Coach, what do you want this team to learn before the trip to Hawaii? And what do you want them to bring back? Yeah, a couple of things that we talked about in the locker room. Um, we're really, really proud of this group just staying resilient. I think after a third set like that, or even in the middle of the third set, uh, we look at the score 25-20, I don't think that paints a full picture of feeling that set. And so for us, we were really proud of how they stayed resilient at the end of that set and how they came out calm and collected in the fourth. Um, the other thing that we really want to see is starting sooner. So we're going to figure out what that looks like. Maybe we need to line dance more in the locker room before we come out or something. But um, there's, so, there's some meat on the bone there that we yeah. need to be better at. Just tell them it's the second set. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is halftime. So. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much.